Hey there, welcome to the Declarative Academy. We're excited to be your go-to channel for everything Salesforce Trailhead. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become a part of our amazing community of Salesforce Trailblazers. Today, we're exploring the Trailhead module, Sell as a Team and Split the Credit. By the end of this unit, you'll be able to describe the differences between revenue splits and overlay splits, understand opportunity product splits, and know when to use opportunity teams versus account teams. Plus, you'll learn how to apply these splits and use them effectively to credit team members for their contributions on deals. Now, let's talk about selling as a team. In Salesforce, team selling is all about bringing different experts together to close a deal. Opportunity teams are temporary groups formed around a specific deal, unlike account teams which build long-term customer relationships. If you often work with the same colleagues on opportunities, you might even set up a default opportunity team to streamline the process. How handy is that? Moving on to splitting credit, this is crucial for recognizing everyone's contributions on a deal. There are two main types of opportunity splits, revenue splits, these distribute credit among team members, with all percentages adding up to 100%. It ensures fair compensation based on contributions tied directly to revenue. Overlay splits. These allow credits to exceed 100%, acknowledging extra effort or specialized skills that go beyond the main sales efforts. Then we have opportunity product splits, which dive deeper by breaking down credit for individual products within a deal. This level of detail can be applied to both revenue and overlay splits to ensure everyone's effort on specific product lines is recognized. Opportunity teams are perfect for temporary collaborations on a single deal. They differ from account teams, which focus on long-term customer relationships. When it comes to crediting work, use revenue splits when distributing a fixed commission pool tied to the deal's revenue. Choose overlay splits to award additional credit where extra effort or expertise was involved. Apply product splits for granular breakdowns by product, ensuring transparency and accountability on who contributed what. Let's walk through a scenario. Imagine you're at the Cloud9 trade show and meet Robin Singh, who introduces you to Carter McLeod from Get Cloudy Consulting in the UK. Carter is excited about buying custom sneakers, similar to what Aparna's team ordered. You create an opportunity for Carter and decide to add Robin Singh to the opportunity team to collaborate on this deal. While we can't execute these steps in a trailhead playground without team selling enabled, here's what you would do in a real Salesforce environment. Open the relevant opportunity record and go to the contacts tab. In the opportunity team section, select add opportunity team members. Enter the name and role for each team member. For example, Add Robin Singh with an appropriate role. Select their level of access and click Save. As the deal progresses, suppose Robin helps secure additional business, like adding a designer for a custom logo. You would then navigate to the Splits tab on the opportunity to adjust revenue and overlay splits accordingly. For instance, change your own revenue percentage from 100% to 20%, assigning 80% to Robin for her major contribution add an overlay split to credit a designer if needed, perhaps assigning them 101% credit on top of existing splits to reflect extra expertise. Opportunity splits aren't just for record keeping. They feed into forecasts, quotas, and pipeline reports. When team members see how credit is allocated, it promotes transparency, motivates collaboration, and ensures accurate reporting of contributions across the team. Now that we've covered selling as a team and splitting credit, let's tackle the quiz questions from this module. I'll read each question, go through the options, and explain why the correct answer fits best. Question 1. Which of the following can you expect from opportunity teams? A. They form long-term relationships with customers. B. They share information, tips, or contacts that help close the deal. C. They split credit equally on opportunities. D, B, and C. The correct answer is B. They share information, 
tips or contacts that help close the deal. Opportunity teams are formed specifically to collaborate on individual deals, sharing knowledge, resources, and contacts to help move the opportunity forward. They are temporary groups focused on closing a specific sale rather than building long-term customer relationships, which is more the domain of account teams. Also, while opportunity teams can split credit, it's not necessarily equal. Credit distribution depends on contributions and configured splits. Hence, option B is the most accurate. Question two, what type of split do you use to credit a supporting team member who wasn't directly responsible for the revenue on an opportunity? A, none B, a revenue split C, an overlay split D, an opportunity product split. The correct answer is C, an overlay split. Overlay splits are designed to allocate credit beyond the primary revenue assignment. This means you can credit team members who contributed support or expertise to the deal, even if they didn't directly impact the revenue. Revenue splits, on the other hand, are for dividing revenue among those directly responsible for closing the deal and must total 100%. Overlay splits, however, can exceed 100% accommodating the additional contributions of supporting team members. Opportunity product splits pertain to credit on individual products within a deal, not general support contribution. To summarize, selling as a team and splitting credit effectively are vital skills in Salesforce. By understanding revenue splits, overlay splits, and opportunity product splits, you can acknowledge team contributions accurately and foster a collaborative sales environment. Opportunity teams help you bring together the right expertise for each deal, ensuring everyone gets the credit they deserve. I hope this walkthrough has made the concepts of team selling and credit splitting clear and approachable. If you enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Declarative Academy, and leave any questions or comments below. Your feedback not only supports the channel, but also helps tailor future content to your needs. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep collaborating and happy selling. Cheers.